Morning. Soapy Shaver, Patrick. Uh, it's Wednesday morning for work, a little before six, I guess. And uh, Williams Wednesday, so I think I'll do a vintage Williams shave. Uh, the puck I used, which is in this Old Spice mug here, came from Caleb Cusick. It was a tonsorial puck wrapped in a roll of tin wrapped in paper. Uh, that's the way it used to come for barbers. Um, but I've got it in this old Fire King mug with this uh, rubber set brush that Caleb actually redid for me, re and everything. Uh, it was pretty horrible shape whenever I sent it to him. I sent him two, and he kept one for redoing mine, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, also, Caleb sent me this Shake Hydra Magic, which is a pretty nice little shaver. He also sent me this uh, Avon decanter. It's a little Derringer with the uh, Deep Woods in it. Uh, so, uh, I guess we'll get started. <clears throat> Hope this finds everybody good this morning. Maybe aggravated because you got to go work, but a whole lot better than not having nowhere to go. So not is a leather hog. Hmm. All right, pass one. If you've never used a, a shit shaver, a pretty nice, pretty intuitive, I guess you'd say, the angle kind of, you kind of find the angle. easily lots of different models some I believe is an I2 model I think the difference in the I1 and the I2 is this one you can uh, let the tension off the, the head that <clears throat> where it holds the blade it cleans out somewhat better. I don't know that for sure, but I'm thinking that might be the difference in them. <clears throat> Sorry for all the throat clearing and all that sort of thing. My sinus allergies in Oklahoma just don't get along sometimes. Oh, the wet weather we've had here recently sure don't seem to help.
Williams soap, I think has been around since 1840. And I was looking a little bit ago and <clears throat> two of the boxes I have, one of them says it was made in Lassenbury, Connecticut. And a couple of the other ones said that it was made in Cranford, New Jersey, I think it was. And new stuff is made in White Plains, New York. You still buy the Schick Blades um, yellow package at uh, local grocery stores here. <laughs> Which makes it pretty handy. I ordered the first few that I used until I realized that they were still around. good thing about the shake blades if longevity is a concern of yours is a DE blade or I usually leave leave them in or, or use them twice a lot of junk and a lot of people think that's probably sacrilege but I don't Well, a horrible shave just because I didn't want to spend 14 cents on a blade. But the single edge I use the gym, they last three or four shaves probably. But these shake blades, I've had them last seven or eight shaves. <clears throat> I've seen forums where guys said that they've used a blade for 20 or 30 shaves and I just don't know about that. <coughs> <coughs> it makes me wonder if they ought to be shaving at all if they can get that many out of it. I don't know. Not that it may be past belief, but it certainly wouldn't last me that long. This stuff does lather better than this. It's just this big old knot. Pull so much into it.
<clears throat> the other day when I was talking about putting limb lines out, my wife and I, we ended up putting about 10 lines out. Caught three fish, that's not bad. I did figure out that she needs to work on her boat trailer backing abilities. I need to work on my patience. <laughs> she gets mad at me for getting mad, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> okay. Twelve minutes. Not sure when this particular decanter was made, but it still smells awful good. Mm -hmm. Usually Avon did a little better job with this thing. Usually you can, whatever you're using will kind of stand up on its own, but not this thing. It'll fall down and get everywhere on you. I don't know how to explain this one. Good <laughs> is the word that comes to mind. Anyways, uh, thank you, Caleb, for all this stuff you've given me. And uh, I had a good shake this morning. Uh, Y'all take care of yourselves, and we'll see you later.